PowerMall 2013 users now have the option to reorder the segments within a pattern or a boundary. This can be done on an individual segment by segment basis manually by the user or can be automatically reordered based upon a direction. On the screen we can see a pattern that defines a series of numbers from 1 to 9. I've used that pattern in uh, an engraving toolpath. If I simulate from the start you can see that the ordering of the engraving of the numbers is not efficient. The toolpath, uh, the tool is jumping about from one letter to another letter and not traversing from left to right or right to left uh, as we would like it to. And this is because the order of the segments within the pattern is incorrect. Now I could go in to the toolpath or reordering and simply do an automatic reorder. However, there's no guarantee that this will give us the correct results. And if I simulate this toolpath from the start again, you can see that it, although it's improved, it's still jumping about and is, it is not completely finished machining one letter, uh, one number before it moves on to the next number. The other disadvantage of doing it this way is that if I wanted to change this toolpath, for example change the tool I use or change the number of step downs, any reordering that I did on the original toolpath would be lost when it was recalculated. So it is much better to reorder the pattern and get the pattern ordering correct in the first place. So in Power 2013 we now have this ability to do that. So I'm just going to edit and validate this toolpath. And then right click on the pattern and go into the curve editor. Now as we know from a previous demonstration, the curve editor uses the new mode bar, which makes it much easier to identify when we're in this special editing mode. So on the curve editor mode bar, we can see that we have a new button which looks very similar to the toolpath reorder button. If I click on this button uh, we get the reorder curve form appear. If I look from above I can label each of the individual segments. So I can see that the number 7 is the first segment in the list. I can now go in and reorder the segments manually. So for example I want segment number 1 to be at the very end and then segment number 2, segment number 3 or number 3, 4, 5, 6, and seven, eight, and then nine. So now we can see it's ordered nicely from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that's uh, how we can reorder manually. Alternatively, if I cancel that without accepting the changes and go back into the curve editor. Uh, you can see I've got my original ordering back which is in incorrect. Then I can simply choose one of the automatic ordering options in X, Y or Z. So I'm going to sort it in X and you can see that has now reorganized the segments in the correct order. I also have the option to organize segments in Y or sort them in Z and the new option to instrument all the segments. So let me accept those changes and now I can simply go to the settings of this toolpath and calculate and now if I simulate from start 
I get perfect ordering for the engraving toolpath and I know that if I make any changes to this toolpath the ordering will still be correct